Hello everybody, my name is Peter Klapper from the School of Biosciences at the University of Kent in Canterbury and in this video clip I want to discuss when is a side chain of an amino acid protonated and when is it not. And I know that this is something that uh, students sometimes find quite difficult. So, first of all, let's uh, do a little revision of uh, amino uh, acids, uh, or rather of acids and bases, and the side chains. So, side chains that we potentially have in an amino acid um, would be, for example, um, carboxylic acid, so we could have um, R. C O O H and this would dissociate into R C O O minus plus H plus. So that would be for glutamic acid or aspartic acid. Uh, so that would be our acid. And we know that this is an acid because it can donate its proton. And this one here would be the corresponding base, the conjugate base of the acid, because it could accept this proton here. So the base is the proton acceptor. The acid is, in this case, the proton donor. We also have other side chains. So, for example, we might have N, uh, NH3+. Plus. So that's an amino group in lysine or arginine and again it can donate a proton so we would get R N H 2 plus H plus and again this one here is the base this one here is the acid we also might have an SH group uh, in, in cysteine for example we might have R S H and again here we have the proton donor so we could get Rs minus plus H plus. And they are all, on this side, we all have the bases, and on this side we have the acids. Now, we know that the henderson hasselbalg equation gives us a very nice um, a relationship between pH and P uh, pKa. So we know from the henderson hasselbalg equation, pH equals pKa minus the log of the concentration of the acid divided by the concentration of the base. Or we can write this also as protonated and deprotonated. So pH equals pKa minus log now the acid, that is this one here, that's the protonated form, concentration of the protonated form, nated form, and the base, that is this one here, that is the deprotonated form. And of course we can now uh, rearrange this equation and uh, we can try to figure out uh, how pH and pKa are related. Um, we just, uh, let me write this down again, pH equals pKa minus log protonated, and I abbreviate it like that, divided by deprot. Uh, so let's rearrange this a little bit and we bring that to this side. The pH goes to that side. So we get log of the protonated form divided by the deprotonated form. equals pKa minus pH. And uh, 
what we can do now is we can say we have basically three different scenarios. We can say, OK, what happens if the pKa is considerably larger by a factor of 10, say, or by, 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 by one unit, considerably larger than the pH? Then obviously pKa minus pH is larger than uh, 0. So we have pKa minus pH is larger than 0. And therefore, it is predominantly in the protonated form. So predominantly in the protonated form. If the pKa is the same as the pH, then pKa minus pH would be zero and log something that gives zero. This would mean that protonated equals deprotonated form, the concentrations. that. And if the pKa is much smaller by one unit, say, than the pH, we know that the pKa minus pH is smaller than zero. So the deprotonated form is dominant and we have predominantly the deprotonated form. And sort of as a memnonic, what we can say is pKa bigger than pH predominantly protonated. So it's all P's or, well, it's a B in here, but that doesn't count. So let's have a quick check uh, and, and, and plug in uh, some numbers. So we have uh, pKa. This is, say, 4. The pH should be 5. And now let's see what happens to this side chain that has a pKa of 4. And uh, we said log protonated divided by the deprotonated concentration equals pKa minus pH. And let's see whether this side chain is in the protonated or deprotonated form. All we need to uh, do is uh, put our numbers in. So 4 minus 5, that equals minus 1. So we've got log protonated over log D over deprotonated form equals minus 1. To get rid of the log, we know that we have to take both sides uh, 10 to the power of. So we have 10 to the power of log protonated over deprotonated. And I just do a bracket around that equals 10 to the power of minus 1. 10 and log cancels out. So we've got concentration of protonated over deprotonated equals 1 over 10. So in this case here, 
our deprotonated form would be predominant. So that deprotonated form nated is predominant. It's actually 10 times more than the protonated form. So predom. I hope this makes sense and it helps you to very quickly assess um, whether a side chain is actually in the protonated or deprotonated form uh, as long as we know the pk and the ph value. Thank you very much for watching.